talked to them afterwards and now like yeah they were saying it's shy and uh, you know they're like it is what it, it is. is what it is yeah okay so you said what nas judy shared was the truth there's a part where your wife spoke okay she's saying she held down the bills is this true in relation to the gambling uh for a period of time when i was going through this yeah i can confirm that she she held it down at home mm-hmm. um yeah i think that's what i can say so the foundation reached out to you how how did this come about so um i actually got a call when i was trending and all i picked it up um so a social media manager for uh, working with Jonica Foundation called me they called me told me they had my story they asked me if they if I would like to meet them they were willing to help mm-hmm. so at first i was a bit skeptical but uh, i just decided that this time when my like when my stuff is hot on the fire this is now where i need to change my ways mm-hmm. you know like i need to bend myself towards the right way i need to seek help if it will be embarrassing if, if it will take a toll on me i don't care but where i'm getting the help is where i'm focusing more on so what have you guys done so far after they called so is yeah where you come in yeah yes. can explain a <laughs> uh-huh. bit more. this is where i come in um so as i said before now janika and uh, Paka, Paka Mui, mm-hmm. uh calls and then i was asked if i would see him and he, had, he came to my office and uh, this week right yeah So on Wednesday, so we could do an assessment. Mm-hmm. Now, why we did that is because if most of the people who, as I has explained, like the different categories of gamblers, and if you get into the problem gambling, normally, usually there is an underlying issue. Mm-hmm. For most people, I'm not saying everyone has yeah. an underlying issue. So, to remember you as what is your end game? Uh, my end game. Firstly, I think I have three things I want to do. Mm-hmm. First, I want to work on my addiction. That's uh, utmost. That's something that I know. When that gets out of the way, mm-hmm. I can now focus on the next two things. And the next two things that I'm focusing on is, I know I'm an actor. I believe in myself. I know I can do it. So I want to get back on screen. Definitely, I want to go back to doing my YouTube content. So I want to go back to my series called Good and Short and all. Mm-hmm. And lastly, but not least, I think that. This has given me an eye opener. Um each day I bet in Najokuna so many people like me out there. Mm-hmm. And if I can get through this and put myself on the hot frying pan and then get overcome it, yeah. you understand? I can be of help to someone because maybe someone will be willing to listen to me. Hey, do what I'm doing and you just have a reputation than I manage, you understand? Mm-hmm. So I'm that's something that I can devote my life in terms of giving back. It's a section where I feel most people are ignoring but gambling is something that can mess your life i've gotten so many uh, texts from people things that actually gave me uh, the motivation to come out kuna mtu ananiambia ati we we bahata yako si kitu like there's a person who lost 1.9 million speaking on that what is the highest amount you have ever placed I don't want to go into details on that. But it's a lot. But it's a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Millions just, or thousands? Yeah, is it millions, um, thousands? No, nah, I haven't reached on the million basis. But, but it's hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Handful or more than a handful? A but uh, <laughs> what were you doing with the money after gambling? You see, the, actually the point was, I was uh, the money I win, I rush her back. So it's uh, a, a, a cycle. You understand cuz certainly kwa na chukua pesa na tumia leo so alafu kesho na betting yeah. and is it on a good opportunity but definitely um we'll find a way where i can reduce it to the probably min- as minimum as possible mm-hmm. uh, that can help me and still i, I won't maybe you know see see my young people wezika 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 india social media kabisa it's it's tedious but we'll work on a like Uh, what, what's it called? Schedule? You know what uh, to uh, seek what it's called? Like, we get a compromise? A, yeah, the more of me compromising and still being understood that there there's a few things that I still should mm-hmm. social media can help. Like I was telling Doc, Mimi Tango, the story came up. I've been uh, channeling the embarrassment I got. Mm-hmm. So to like make me refrain from going back to the betting you understand mm-hmm. so my when i get when i'm on my phone majority i'm just on whatsapp i'm talking to guys um, 
that's something when I went into betting I started cutting off friends. I wasn't so social. So I'm trying to get social again, yo. Me you know, in it boost me ni achiku kiria neza kati kosum ni kick bet a man as a cap again, you understand? So we'll work we'll work with Doc and I'm um, really open to a solution that will work best. How is Regina taking this and is she going to be part of the organization with the doctor? Um, that's, I think that's for me to ask and um, on this one I want to tackle it um, head on so if in the future she will be maybe you guys will get to know but for now I'm just speaking on behalf of her today. So how is she coping so far as you've seen her without the larger picture without the public coming uh, in? How is now, she coping? I think once to hear what Jin has to say, we can arrange that. Yeah, you know? that would be interesting. But for now, we just focus on what come out with you. So what is your end game at the end of the day? Actually, for a while. it's a discussion. Because we're thinking about your brand's partners. So if you're migrating him off social media, what happens? Just for a while. Normally what happens, I'm not being, I'm, I'm so yeah. sorry, let me just get into the scientific aspect of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most addictions, we have to remove you from what is making your addictive pass. Yeah. And then you gain skills to manage that particular challenge. Once you gain the skills, then you go back slowly. Mm -hmm. You go back slowly. It's the same way, the way if you have an addiction to alcohol, mm -hmm. we take you a little bit away from it to manage your behavioral skills. Mm -hmm. Then once you're out, now you can be around people. Like you can see, you can see pubs and all that and not enter, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what happens as, as well for gamblers or anyone who has an addiction to gambling. He has to stay off a bit social media mm -hmm. for a while. Maybe he can, someone else can do the management for the, for the page. The you can, you can yeah. hire someone or get someone on it, but you need to stay away from it until now you're ready to manage it, which is now the issue, okay? Because again, this whole talk about, I don't know, uh, Madam, uh, the person who is Nas Judy, again, those are triggers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Those are triggers that can make you feel worse. And again, making you feel worse like mean, we have a relapse. We don't want that anymore. So at least a bit of a bit of off social media kind of thing is what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. And I think he's willing to to do this to help yourself. Yeah, we're actually, we're, yeah, we're going to talk more on it because we um, have him on board as a brand ambassador mm -hmm. to, to now speak it out as he's speaking it out here. Mm -hmm. To now make those yeah. ones who are not feeling like sharing it, those ones who are suffering in silence, to come out and uh, talk it out. So we're hoping we'll involve him going forward to, to see whether we can get a fair share of solving the issue. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? No, no. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, okay. you, you said you would have the number of money I've lost for the number of... So your questions are actually not substantial on this. Okay, so if you could talk to the foundation representative, you could tell us about your name and what you do and how you reached out to him. Okay, so my name is John Kamal. I'm a statistician by profession. I've been in Germany. I was an employee for quite some time, almost nine years, and uh, I've seen it happen. I've seen the problem gaming happen, and uh, the epitome of it was when one of my close friends committed suicide because of the same. And that was the drive that made me create the foundation. It's been here for now two years, it's been done for two years, and uh, we've been receiving numerous calls uh, from uh, people with these issues, you would think that most of them are the door earning, the door earning are Kenyans. But unfortunately, you even find people who are even working in very big organizations that have been calling us, of course, because of our anonymity. We've handled an issue of a doctor, a very big doctor. We've handled an issue of someone working with a multinational organization. So it's not an issue for the poor. It's actually um, a, national, a national issue that is affecting most people. Um, so that's what we've been doing, receiving calls. We help where we can. If they will insist that they will want to have further consultation and maybe treatment of the same, that's when we forward the issues to Dr. Mm -hmm. yes. So how do you come to reach out to Baha? Uh, so Baha, I saw the story and I reached out on uh, his IG 
he called back and that's when we arranged to meet. We met in one of the malls. We talked just to see whether it was crowd or not. And from how he's talking, you can feel anyway this is coming from the heart. It's something that he's going through. So after that, uh, we came, we sat, talked for for hours actually. That day we talked for like three hours. And then that's when we now approach the time to now um, uh, see him and probably work with him through that journey. But of course on our end, we'll still now be impacting the, a bit of now, theoretical bit of uh, uh, um, consultancy on how he can handle it. So in addition to providing a psychiatrist or consultations, what else does the foundation do like, if it comes to Baha? What else do you intend on doing? Okay. So what we'll do is that once he's out of the problem gaming, he's a national figure. Uh, most of us, when we are growing up, we use model. Sometimes it could be what you're going through that is making you have a crutch. So for 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 him, I think gambling came as something to hang on to, something that gives you some sort of drive, a high, a high. or to lash out, or to lash way. out, or to kind of kind of express your anger. You know the way, not anger, frustration, mm -hmm. or to just you know have an outlet. And then it became addictive, you know? So sometimes it's not about, how you can have the best people around you, but sure. you end up um, not being and okay. It's become secretive. Or even, of course, or even yeah. you can even confide in someone, and then when they tell you their advice and stuff, where will they ignore? Like, you can be at a point where, because when the doctor said the first ikianze in anze come out somewhere to lash out, but once it it grips you, you even don't understand why you keep going back there. You, you, you had done it for how long? Um, for around uh, a couple of months. Like how many? I don't wanna specify numbers here. Oh, it's, six it's months. It's I'm, um, I'm a natural by profession. I'm a young dad, and um, yeah, I'm, I've been struggling with. Uh, the underlying issue at the moment for a while and um, really really willing to seek some help. Okay, so how old are you? Today? Oh yeah um twenty two. Twenty three? Yeah. Um if you can tell us um how do you find yourself in a position where you're gambling? How did you find yourself eh? or what you uh well for me I think it's just um a series of uh, bad decisions that have piled me up to uh, to reach at a point where maybe my finances were a bit crippled. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to get fast money, which was uh, well, pretty pretty much from me. So by finances, you're talking about taking care of your young family? Not or not really, not really, because mm -hmm. um, my surety was helping out. Mm -hmm. So majority of it was now the you know the elevation. Like I'm feeling like. If we need to get from this place to the other, it's just that society expectations, society expectations, and yeah. kind of the pressure. Because mm -hmm. if it's basic needs and all that was that was sorted, I was also managing on my own. Like basic needs is not something that I was unable to hack. Mm -hmm. But now the the you know the the, the laxities, the laxities, yeah. I will call them that. The laxities in life I was lacking under. I had a couple, like I had pressure to to search for. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about Nurse Judy. What's up with that? What happened? Yeah, at least where she's coming on when you Yeah, um, everything is just that like it's, it's been put out. I'm not going to add anything onto it. So, yeah, um, I think no comment on that. Was it the truth or was it Kiki for the song? Because the song oh. and the Kiki coming out at the same time, yeah, it no, kind of confuses us. If you're asking about that, mm -hmm. everything that's been going wrong, uh, going around is the truth. It's true. Uh, the song, it's just that the artist uh, had scheduled to release the song that same week. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I don't know if they took advantage of the situation, that's not my part to say. Mm -hmm. But they released it without, um, like, any communication, so I just when you to, yeah, when you watch all your Angoma and your family when you Angoma, and um, yeah, so it's it's not about Kiki and that, and that's why I'm here trying to clarify the situation. Mm -hmm. the did you talk about things, and we did find some things which I'm not at liberty yeah. to talk about, yeah. and that is what now he has to work on. So the next step that we need to do, we talked about quite a number of things which led me to do a bit of 
conclusions. Don't worry. <laughs> it's still our private conversation. Yes. And um, part of the treatment will be him now seeing a psychiatrist as soon as possible. Put on medication and then we continue. Medication? Yeah, this not very serious medication, this simple medication. Like what? I've never known oh, like no. if you're in psychiatrist in a psychiatrist to give medicine. No, I, I think I, I went too far. Am I allowed I to say no, no, at the moment let, let her not go into detail. Okay, okay. Okay. Because now what, what she's saying about it's not actually for the gambling. Yeah. Now it's, it's like the something the underlying, underlying yes. issue. So that is uh -huh. what maybe might require yeah. exactly. medication. Thank mm -hmm. you for putting it in, um, in the context. Mm -hmm. So that is what we're going to do. And then he'll continue with therapy. Therapy will take a bit of time. Just like any addiction therapy, it's going to go through cognitive behavioral therapy and at least gain some behavioral skills to help him cope with gambling and maybe we actually stop the gambling because he's, in a, he's, he's actually a problematic gambler. So One of the stop. questions based on that is gambling has migrated online. So like Kitambo used to go into a casino. Yes. So how mm -hmm. are you dealing with that? Both of you. If, if it's not about having the phone yeah. or how is that going to happen? Actually today the, the most interesting thing about that question is we were talking about it while we were sitting over there and mm -hmm. I was telling him you know you need to be off social media. Mm -hmm. You need to kind of you know reduce your phone usage right now because you have a problem with it. So those are the things that you're going to have a challenge with. So we are going to see how he does that and I'm going to, I was asking him about his, um, his like the person who's going to be responsible for him mm -hmm. even when he's at home mm -hmm. to kind of help him manage his use and being on social media as part of the plan and that is what we're going to work on. Does he 